Hey everyone. Okay, so today we'll be painting this door and this mirror cap. We'll be showing you painting 101 pretty much. How to do a paint job on a panel the right way. So you start off, it comes to me, raw primer. I'll have to sand it, then paint it. And I'll show you guys the steps as we go. So first off, you're gonna wanna get 500 on a block, soft block, it's a Norton block. 500 grit, wet or dry sandpaper. Then you'll get your water hose now put some water on the door now I'm going to do part of it and then show you guys because I can't do this with one hand so. alright everybody so I've sanded a little bit I want to show you the difference in the stages this is the primer when it was fresh and it feels pretty smooth a lot of people be like oh you just paint over that no you can't you gotta sand it so the paint will stick better. This is a little bit of sanding. You can still see the texture. You see, that's what you're trying to get rid of in that, in that primer. Like I have down here, where it's nice and smooth, you can't see none of this black texture. You, you're looking for this. You wanna get it all nice and smooth without going through. Then you can paint it. Well, when you're sanding, you don't want to make a bunch of short little strokes because that'll show up. It'll make it look wavy. It'll make it look, you can sand what looks like a dent in a panel. You want to make long, full strokes almost the end of your panel, same as the door. You can go, you know, from line to line, it's fine. But then you come back and you go a long strokes this way. Just don't make short, choppy strokes. Okay, I'm gonna finish sanding this door and get it ready. And I'm gonna sand that mirror cap and get it ready. And then I'll be back to show you all the process of putting on the paint. So after you got the front side sanded smooth, like you want it, you flip it over. This is gonna be a little different. You take the red Scotch-Brite, equal to about 400 grit sandpaper. You take that, it's going to help you get in all these little grooves and edges. Then you sand the inside. Then we'll put it on the rack. So it's standing up in the same direction as the car. Just from something laying down, we'll change the color of it. So you want it in the same orientation it is on the car. And when you're wet sanding, you're just keeping your water flowing to wash away the dust and debris out of your sandpaper so you can keep sanding and not have to stop every few minutes and get a new piece of sandpaper. It just allows you to not waste. Everybody, so you got all your sanding done. You got them positioned in your booth where you want them. I know not everybody might have a booth, but this is where I work. So. This is the time you want to put your gloves on. You don't want to leave no oil or anything from your skin on the panel. Mix up your paint. Charge your digs. I was letting my phone charge. Everything will be in grams. It tells you your toner, how much of each one to put in. And then what you do is you, you'll want to wipe everything off with wax and grease remover. Make sure everything's nice and clean. We use the Omni MX190. So you take your air blower, blow it all off, wipe it down, and take another cloth, dry it off. And you'll come back with one of these, It'll be a tack cloth. You'll tack off any little hairs or fibers left from your 
paper towel rags. And then you're ready to put your first coat on. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you guys. All right, so you got everything wiped off. Now you got your first coat on. You're not gonna get complete coverage in your first, first coat. It's just about getting a good base down. You wanna put a nice, decent, wet coat. But if you, if you notice, you get real close, you can still see your sand scratches. So what you're trying to do is just keep putting on layers until those are covered. Like on these jams, you wanna sand past where your door panel covers and that way you won't have no problems. You put your door panel on, it'll stick. And we'll put three to four more coat, three to four more coats on, and it'll be time to clear it. Paint gun I use is a Seda. 4000B HVLP Everything I use all the chemicals to mix the paint the sandpaper Everything you can find it at O'Reilly's Auto Parts All right guys, I'm gonna try to take you in here with me and put on a coat So We're gonna put a coat on See how it looks Might be ready to clear, might have to put another coat on Okay, sorry I wasn't describing what I was doing, kind of hard in that mask. So, what you want to do is you want to move at a nice even pace. And you want to stay about six to eight inches off the panel depending how your gun's set up. Put your first coat on, kind of wet. And then these next coats, you can kind of put it on a little drier. But as you see, those scratches have started to go away. So once you 
see that you don't have a bunch of scratches showing up, you can go ahead and clear it. But anything you can see on the panel, when you clear it, it's going to be exaggerated. That's why it's always best to have it as clean as possible. Make sure you ain't got no debris, no dust in the air. Or on your clothes. Be sure to always blow yourself off before you start. Alright, so I'm going to go mix up the clear. And then... I'll put the clear on it. Show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, so now we got our clear mixed. So we're going to put the clear in the cup. And then we're going to tack rag it again. If you want a new clean tack rag for the clear. You don't want to leave a chance of putting something back on the panel. Since this is going to be your last time tack ragging it. Then you can reuse this tack rag for the next job. Okay, so now it's black, so you know, tack everything off, you just lightly, you know, drag your rag across it, don't push too hard. Like I didn't get to say earlier when I was sanding, so I was trying to show you more of the texture, because when you're sanding and everything, you don't want to push hard like you would if you were sanding wood or something. You let the weight of your arm and the weight of the block do the job. You don't want as aggressive of scratches as possible. You want uniform scratches. You want everything nice and smooth. So after you get done tack ragging, again, your tack rag, you'll see it. You can fold that over and use it on your next job because that'll be the last time you get a tack rag. All right, let's put a coat of clear on.
right, so that's one coat of the clear. Hey everyone, alright, after three coats of clear, this is what we got, nice smooth shiny surface. Hope you all found some of this informative and enjoyed the video, I'll see you next time.